Hello everybody, Texura here, and welcome back to Black Rock Mountain! Uh, after the, um, massive, massive lag problems I had last week, I've decided to wait until, what is it, Friday now? Until Friday afternoon to actually record this, so hopefully the servers aren't as overloaded this time. Uh, this time... Oh, that's encouraging. There we go. So this time, we will get Revenge, uh, a warrior card, which is like a super whirlwind if we have less health. That might go pretty well in my warrior deck, but then again, maybe not, because I don't want it to kill the Grim Patrons, and I don't necessarily want to deal three damage to my own guys. So it's something to think about. It's a neat card. It works as an expensive whirlwind in the early game, and if you get in real trouble, I, uh, well, if you get in real trouble, it does three damage to minions. If you're in that position, your opponent probably has more stuff than you, so it's pretty good, I guess. Maybe not exactly what I want in my warrior deck, but there we go. Flame Walker, which is honestly an amazing, um, amazing minion. It's got really good stats for a 3-drop. A 2-4 is obnoxious to get rid of, especially as a 3-drop. And every spell is just going to deal damage among all mini minions. It's like a mini Blast Mage. That thing is uh, pretty nasty. It will probably work its way into a lot of mech decks just because of the spare parts. Because you can just go... Spare part, boom, spare part, boom. And there you go. Hungry Dragon is amazing. A 5-6, incredible stats. Summon a random one-cost minion for your opponent. Most of those are going to be pretty um, easy to take care of, so that's not too bad. And it's got huge stats for a 4-drop. That's a nice one. Fire Guard Destroyer. It's going to be anywhere between a 4-6, still good for a 4-drop, and a 7-6, still really good for a 4-drop. Yeah, okay, one point of overload, but eh. And then there's Cro-Magnus. 6-8, so he's got the right stats. He's too small for big game hunter and big enough to be a threat. And whenever you draw a card, you get another copy of that card. There's a lot of amazing things you can do with that, and he's, he's basically card efficiency incarnate. Because every card you're getting, you're getting too. He's going to be a big priority target for your opponent to take out because he's just going to keep giving you more and more cards. It basically doubles your card draw. So all of the rewards in Blackwing Layer here are amazing. I don't know what's in the class challenge yet, but I've gone rambling long enough. Let's do this. You can see I've managed to earn enough gold to buy the Hidden Laboratory at the very end, which is fantastic. I cannot wait to do that, too. But I will have to wait a week anyway. Because, like it or not, it's not out for a week. There we go. Just like Noxramus, we've got four bosses here. Probably only two in the Hidden Laboratory. I'm assuming nefarious at the very end. You want to come into my house? Fine. Razor Gore, destroy this ungrateful brat. Okay. Corrupted eggs. Uh, give all corrupted eggs plus one health, and then summon one. Okay. Well, let's see what this does. Uh, praise be to the RNG, for it is as wise as it is stupid. I'm not even sure why I keep doing the RNG deck, truth be told. I mean, it's fun, so I guess that's reason enough. It's not necessarily smart, but it's fun, so I guess that's reason enough.
Loading, loading, loading. Jaina versus Razor Gore. Behold the corrupted eggs of our new dragon flight. You asked for it. Yeah, let's pitch the arcane intellect. I'll keep the flame cannon just in case. Because I don't even know what those eggs do yet. Ogre Brood is going to be great. Arcane Missiles. If these are like the dragon eggs, probably Arcane Missiles is a bad thing. These eggs will be your undoing. Oh! Well, this minion has four or more health. It hatches. And every turn he'll spend one mana to give each one plus one health and summon another. So I don't think I want to do the Arcane Missiles just yet. Because I could deal some damage. Yeah, okay. I don't need to just kill it right now. Stay away from those eggs. You really like those eggs. Okay. My magic will tear you apart. I will scramble you. Alright, well, let's scramble some eggs. Eggs are more precious than you know. Well, you're the one who keeps throwing them at me. Yo, know, Priestek might be fun with this to just steal the eggs. That'd be something. It's steal the eggs and let him make them hatch. I wonder what they hatch into. Oh, I'm probably gonna find out what they hatch into, aren't I? Okay, well... It's probably gonna be something pretty big and nasty. I don't really want to drop the Shredder just yet, so why don't I... Ping off one. For this we'll blow up another. Good, you blew up the right one. You'll pay for this. Be smash you. So blowing up the correct one was a pretty big deal. Flame hard, okay. I really do need to start getting control of things here. So I'm going to pop that egg. And drop another minion. It's time. Okay, well I haven't seen any of them hatch yet, which is good. I'm a little scared of what they're going to do when they hatch. He doesn't seem to be doing much else. This may be his only trick. Nope. He's got other tricks. Okay. So can I hit my target? No. I don't think I want to risk a bomb lobber because I wanted to use the bomb lobber to kill that guy. Now there's a 50% chance it'll miss. So let's hold off on that. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, let's keep that down because next turn I can bomb lobber and fire blast an egg. So, he probably won't trade, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, well, either of those is good for a bomb lobber. Yeah, this will work well. Uh, 
All right. I think the knife juggler is going to come in real handy real soon. The power of black wind. I think a flame strike is going to come in real handy real soon. Yeah. I really don't want to flame strike this junk, but I think I gotta. Maybe I can just take a little beating and hold off for a turn? Probably done, but let's see where that takes me. Oh yeah, that's real useful, thanks. I that's exactly what I wanted. Job's done. I guess the only thing that really would have helped him was Wind Fury. Okay. I'm thinking this is a turn for Flame Strike. And yeah, let's Flame Strike this. And how about I drop the Knife Juggler and take that out. Oh, shit! I want to kill myself. Absolutely. Oh, shit, Storm! Hell no! Hell no! Hey, seriously? I cannot even imagine... Why did I put that down there? I... Well, I guess I had that coming. Yeah, go ahead, blow all your cards on uh, killing things. Summon some minions too, that would be great. Well, that didn't quite go the way I uh, would have liked. So let's get... Uh, Get some taunt up, I think. Who dares to this ancient land? Okay. So this should be pretty good, because I can use these guys to mop up the eggs. This will work one. Okay, this suddenly got a bit on the concerning side. A crab. Oh, that's... Yeah, great. Thank you. Hello? Ah, uh, this is gonna be good. Let's kill that one. And go for face with the rest. And you know what? You're so badly hurt. Let's actually recombobulate ya. You might feel a little tingy. King Crush, everybody! Well, I think I've got this. What do you think? I don't even know what his eggs do when they get too big. It would take so long to figure that out, too. Yeah, you're not getting through this taunt wall, buddy. Not 
quite good enough. I gotta give this win to King Crush. So we'll poke. Time for a chill. We'll poke. We'll poke. GG. Experiments. Well, now they've been crushed and none of them hatch. I still don't know what they do when they hatch. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Let's see what they've got in the next wing. Or rather, the next boss. Next time. See you then.